Well, color me surprised that Arnold Almighty Allen has not realized a UFC title shot just yet. Make no mistake about it, he is a true five-tool player at 145 pounds. Had some moments in that main event against Max Holloway back in 2023, and had he won that fight, he would have been next for the world title. Outstanding jab, a really good boxer, mixes up the skills well, and a lot of people feel like we might see Arnold Allen's takedown game here tonight. Either way, he feels motivated beyond a shadow of a doubt to prove tonight that he can still be the best 145 pound fighter in the world. in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, early round action here as we get another look at the UFC featherweight contender, Arnold Allen. So far, so good in the UFC. As far as this matchup is concerned here tonight, he feels like the takedown will be there, but he's not gonna force it. He feels like his jab is gonna dictate everything. Of course, for us, Sahabi sort of intimated as much in our fighter meeting, but if Arnold Allen can win this fight tonight, the sky is the limit for this featherweight contender. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Well, a few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Nice jab by McGregor. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's, it's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Clean with the 
the right hook. Oh, he found the target again. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Effective jab there by Allen. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Spider-Man, a nasty kick. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh! oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Allen's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, nice jab by Connor. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Allen. Right late in the round here, and largely it has been vintage Conor McGregor. He's got the striking going tonight. When Conor McGregor's having success, the way the fight plays out is very... Oh, the, biggest the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut rate. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. Get out of that wall and take your time. He's ripe for the picket. Go and pick the truth. <laughs> All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Big ground and ground. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Big knee land. Gets the underhook. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, McGregor's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, just misses with the kick. 10 seconds now to go in the round. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive to put his opponent on leg. And what a round! All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of it. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Ready. Ready. Round two is underway. Big power shot there. Oh, that's a sharp shot there. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, 
You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as the world. Good job blocking that shot. Watching swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Shots landing from the top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Back mount now. All right, close guard now. There's some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Under three to go round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and, as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't learn that overnight. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any design. He's got to start throwing down. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find Oh, my God. Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. with the elbow. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. He's getting them out here. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. In the half guard. Under a minute to go. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a... Under 20 seconds now to go. That'll do it! Oh my God! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Bruce Buffer has your official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, he landed, and got the KO finish.